Dad, can you explain the actual mechanical difference between a two-stroke and a four-stroke engine? I know one fires more often, but I want to understand why. Sure, Steve. It's all about how many piston strokes are needed to complete a thermodynamic cycle. A four-stroke engine uses four piston movements, intake, compression, power, and exhaust, each occurring over two revolutions of the crankshaft. So each cylinder fires once every two revolutions? Exactly! That makes the power delivery smoother and more controlled. In contrast, a two-stroke engine completes the entire cycle in just two piston strokes, one upstroke and one downstroke. So it fires every single revolution. That's why two strokes can produce more power per unit of displacement? Right. They generate twice the power strokes in the same time. But there's a trade-off. Two-stroke engines typically lack valves and instead use ports in the cylinder wall. The timing of fuel intake and exhaust is controlled by the piston position itself, which leads to less precise gas exchange. So more fuel-air mixture can be lost during scavenging? Precisely. That's one reason two strokes are less fuel efficient and tend to emit more unburned hydrocarbons. They also require oil to be mixed into the fuel for lubrication, since there's no separate oil circulation system. And four strokes use a crankcase oil system, right? Correct. That's why four strokes generally last longer, require less frequent maintenance, and run cleaner. But they're heavier and more complex due to additional components like camshafts and valves. So two strokes prioritize power to weight ratio, and four strokes emphasize longevity and emissions control. That's the engineering trade-off in a nutshell. 